Um, now, uh, I love these stories. They just get passed around the intratubes um, like they, they came off of uh, Reuters. Um, well, here's the story. A man uh, from uh, Melbourne, Florida, has received the world's first ever successful horse-to-man penis transplant uh, in uh, Mexico, I guess, using the uh, allograft procedure, which is the procedure in which a key component of the uh, organs are grown artificially. The news broke um, on uh, the newspaper El Grafico. I don't know, even know what it is. But um, he uh, took place July 16th. He wished to remain anonymous, but there's his, his picture. Why, why would that guy want a horse cock? Like, like uh, I don't know. He, you'd think if a guy that's doing a lot of fucking... You know, and it's like, ah, I want a bigger cock. He'd get the horse cock. This guy just looks like a regular Joe kind of working st stiff. Uh, so for him to want the horse cock, I don't know. A uh, procedure which took place uh, at a medical center in, in Mexico uh, completed in just over nine hours. Uh, what is this uh, supposed to do for him, though? I, besides give him a bigger cock. Now, I don't think... I don't think you have enough blood pressure in your body as a human being to fill up a horse cock without passing out. That's got to take every bit of spare blood in your body to pump up a horse cock. You see a horse cock? Do they see how, say how big the horse cock is? Sorry, I didn't screen this story first. I, I guess I should have. Uh, that would, might, might be a little too sexual, though. He's recovering very nicely. I guess. Um, wish him the best of luck. That the inner workings of the penis were modified using synthetic materials, allowing the procedure to be possible. Without the allograft procedure in which tissue, uh, tissue was grown artificially, uh, we wouldn't have even tried. I contemplated even trying it at all. But after some research and meeting with my associates, we were convinced you could indeed do it. Um, wow. Here's a horse cock. There you go. That, uh, and again, another thing, like what woman, well, I know what woman, a real fucking whore. whore. <laughs> like that's whores. <laughs> whores. They, I think they would be very um, shocked and, uh, and frightened by that. Especially the color. <laughs> that's <laughs> like a little pink spot though. It's adorable. Um, ladies and gentlemen, stop. Just stop passing this story around like it's real. <laughs> it's, uh, of course, the fake story of, of the, the day, the week, whatever, however long it, it has legs, <laughs> has five legs. It's a horse with a cock. Uh, it's, it's just, it's fake. I don't know who sends these things around like they're real. The crazy people. People love to think something's real. And, and, and I think that transcends their ability to use common sense. Everything that has been done in science tells you that you cannot put a horse cock on a human. <laughs> Yet. Yet, we can all hope. Um, we can all hope. But, you know, there's genet just simple, the, the rejection. You... You know, you try to put somebody's uh, liver in another person and stuff, and they got to take these anti-rejection drugs, and everything has to be matched up perfectly, blood types and, and um, all kinds of other genetic mapping shit. And you can't just take a horse cock and sew it on somebody. If you could, don't you think all those, um, all those transgendered uh, people, the women that want to become men... That'd be handy, right? Just a big supply of horse cock that they could just pick from, stitch it on, and satisfy their, their lover. <laughs> I don't know. Keith, horse cock, what do you think? Would you? If it was possible without any problem? Yeah, no. No. I'd pass. Just stick with your own cock. Which animal would you choose? Which animal? Um, hmm. I don't know. The other one, a horse cock sort of looks like a real cock. 
like dimensionally and proportionally and everything. But you start looking at other animals, and that's not even a cock. I don't know what it is. There's some that got like a corkscrew and it's pointy and and then like dumb dogs with that lipstick fucking dick. Who would want anything like that? So the horse is probably the the closest in actual uh, physicality to a human dick. So if you're not taking the horse cock, what other cock are you going to take? What the fuck is that? That is a cat dick? According to BuzzFeed. Wow. That looks like some kind of a... Nah, this is the clip from... Uh, this is a, a little teaser from J.J. Uh, Abrams' new Star Wars. Love that. What is that? An Imperial fucking spiky cruiser? <laughs> All right, what is that? Is that a vagina? Whatever a flatworm is, that's what it is. And that's a flatworm dick? Right there. All right, I'm not going for the flatworm dick. Dolphin dick? No, see? It's fucking got a... It's, it, it looks like uh, something out of uh, anime porn. Jay Moore got fucked by a dolphin dick. Jay Moore did indeed get humped and fucked by a dolphin. He was uh, swimming with the dolphins, and they did that thing where you kind of meet and greet and pet him. And someone thought Jay was fucking... Uh, one of the dolphins thought Jay was uh, attractive and tried to fuck him. That's a whale, sperm whale penis. <laughs> sperm whale <laughs> uh, penis. Okay. Again, the big pointy thing. What? I don't know what that one is. Water boatman. I don't even know what that oh is. Female hyena. Ugh. Look at that moth penis. The Why penis is there two? Out. Is there two or is that? I don't even know what the fuck is going on there. Is that the little part of the penis poking up and then... They, they grab with that thing? We need some grabbers so these chicks can't get away. <laughs> Why don't humans have the grabbers? We really need them. Ah, there you go. It's not actually a penis. I heard about this. Female hyenas got this um, uh, giant clitoris that looks like a dick. And they call it like a phantom dick or a faux penis or something like that. So it's not even uh, real. How about some sea slug dick? Oh, some sea slug penis donkey dick the old <laughs> no wonder they say hey donkey dick when someone's got a big cock that is a big dick uh a turtle what the fuck he looks very happy with himself though if larry king it. were a genital i think it would be a turtle's dick. a turtle dick <laughs> all right that's a, a barnacle you don't think of a barnacle would even have a dick they are dicks though for fucking up your boat Give you that. Um, whoa. What is that thing? Oh, that's one of those things that probably should have been extinct, but isn't. Wow. Fuck. <laughs> that thing's moving around like crazy. All right, you might want to get one of those. It's double jointed. A duck dick. Yeah. That's just fucking crazy. Why is the guy measuring it like that? No, oh, it, it twists. It's like it's decorative. That's crazy. It's like a crazy straw. You could drink out of a crazy straw. Porcupine dick. Oh, or whatever. That has some kind of grabby device. An alligator cock. Ugh. Looks like scallops. That's not nice either. A leopard slug. Why is that number one? And coming in at number one, as far as animal dicks go, it's the leopard slug. <laughs> All right. Well... He chose none of those. I wouldn't either. Except maybe the donkey dick. Donkey dick. Uh, but he chose a horse cock and not really because the story is totally fucking fake. 